Hello, this is Darcy here with another tutorial for flexible digital urban modeling. Um, if you watched the video before and have been you know, keeping up with it, you would have noticed that we set up a camera, that camera there, and then we made it move along this path, uh, animate it, so when it played it moved along as these are animating. Um, you know, things like these. Uh, when you're doing animations, you know, specifically in the urban context, they, they're really good at showing off city views. You can get them to work properly. Um, you, know, you can put your, you know, some real cinematography into it, you know. Make it your own. Really, really explore the space. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at the other part of the camera, which is the target. What the camera points at. So you, know, you can make the target move as well. Um, we uh, one way of doing it is to make it move along a curve, similar to what we did last, or exactly what we did in the last tutorial. But today, why don't we sort of make it a bit more interesting and make it follow a, a delegate? Um, so for starters, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Some are better than others. So let's get stuck into the first one. Uh, is simply going you know, to link it to one of these delegates. So linking sort of will essentially just makes it stay in the same position relative to something else uh, for the you know duration of the animation. So let's just get you where we want it. I'm gonna make it follow this little one. Ooh. How's that? I think that looks like an alright position. Perfect. So to do that, we click on our delegate. We see select and link in the top left. So then we hover over it and link to the delegate. Now that's as pretty. That's pretty. You know, that's pretty much it. Um, and if we've done our job properly, it'll want to move where where the delegate goes. So you know, wow, well, Darcy, that was so easy. You know, it's going to look so, so cool. Um, it might. I Let's just let's just find out. So let's bring it back. And there we go. It looks all right. It's a little bit jerky. Uh, delegate moves a little bit weirdly, but there's there's a better way we can do it. Um, you know, a, a way that you know, is much more smoother. Like if you, you know, looked it out the other tutorial, the camera was moving, it was... You know, less hand cam style, more Martin Scorsese, I think I used. So, uh, we see, we, we're, going, we're going to do that um, in this tutorial. So, the way we're going to do that is by first unlinking, unlink selection. Do that do it? Yep. Excellent. Mm. Just move this. Where are you? There we go. All right. So the way we're going to do this is maybe we pretty much want it to move along the trajectory of a delegate. So without, you know, the delegate itself will wobble from side to side depending on how it banks when it turns corners. So, you know, like on a motorbike, you sort of got to lean into the turn. We don't want that effect. We want a much more controlled effect. Okay, the, we want it to follow the trajectory of the green delegate. Now, to do that, we've got to we've got to see where it goes. And the, the good thing about how the groups all out, everything, all the motion is worked out before you do the animation. It's nothing's on the fly. So we, the computer knows where everything's going and what it's doing. So we've got to get the trajectory of that. So of this of this delegate, you know, moving around in space. So to do that. We're going to go up to our motion tab, trajectory, and you'll see once trajectory is selected, 
not parameters, yeah, this little curve. So this is pretty much the, the where, where the center of the delegate is going to go. So um, that's what we're going to make our target move along. So just you know, similar to the curve we drew, uh, but we're getting our curve from where this delegate is moving. So it sounds pretty easy. So we've got this active remote, so we'll try and link it. And you click outside or on our target. Oh, no, it doesn't work. What we have to do is convert it. So convert to a spline. So here's our trajectory spline. Uh, we want to convert this to an actual spline that we can use because currently it only exists as a trajectory. Now, to do this, we just have to click convert to, which will make it into a, a line that we can use. But before that, we have to change the sample range. Currently, the end time is at 100, and we're modeling from 0 to 200. So let's go fix that up and convert to. And there we go. And there we have it. There's our trajectory spline. So now it's a simple matter of hiding our geometry clicking on our target and going back to hierarchy, effect pivot point only, center of object, back into motion, uh, assign controller path, then we assign it to the path constraint and add path. And there it is. Now, if we have a look, it should move as delegate moves along the path. We'll follow it. So we go out and back into the camera and play. And there we go. You can see it's following its motion. And there we have it. Great job.